Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to add the MySQL jar file to a Java project created with IntelliJ IDEA. So let's create a new project. So I have to select Java, then next. Next again. Here I have to provide the project name, so let's call it user manager. Then finish. So the project has been created, but it is empty. So I have to add a new class. So let's select source, then file, then new class. So this class, I will call it main class. And inside this class, I will make a copy of a source code that I have already prepared. So this source code, as you can see, it connects to this database using this username and this password, then it adds a single row into the table called users. So let's run this class. As you can see, I have this exception, no suitable driver found for GDBC. This is because I did not include the MySQL jar file yet. So let's download this jar file from the website of MySQL. That's why I have to type the following words. So MySQL connector Java. Then I have to go to this first link. And here I want to download the jar file which is platform independent. That's why in this list I have to select platform independent. Then I have these two files. So I will download this zip file. And here I don't like to log in. So I will just say no thanks. Just start my download. Now I can save this file but I have already downloaded it. So I will cancel the download. And I will use the zip file that I have on my computer, which is this one. So let's open it. And as we can see, it contains the jar that I should add to the project. So let's extract the jar. Now let's go back to IntelliJ IDEA. And here I have to go to File, then Project Structure. Then I have to select Modules, then Dependencies. Then I have to click on this Add button. Then I have to select Jars. And here I have to provide the location of the jar file. So the jar is located on the desktop. That's why I will select this desktop. Then I have to select... So I have to select the jar file that I have already extracted, which is this one. So let's click on OK. Now the jar file has been added, so let's click on OK. Now let's run this class again. So I have to make a right click, then run. And as you can see, this time I don't have the exception anymore. And I have this output, which means that I executed this class correctly and that I, uh, I have added the new row correctly to the database. So this is all for this video. I hope it is useful for you. Please subscribe to the channel.